All right, hello folks, it is I, Chief Sarkan, with Aster Chief streaming in another episode of Wildstar. And per a request, today we are going to do pretty much nothing but talk about the Path of Settler. As you can see here, I'm in my foreign Esper, and we're going to go around and talk about the nuances of what makes a Settler Path special for those that have that particular play style. So I hope you have lots of questions because it's a very limited topic, but I want to be very specific in making sure addressing what you want to know about about the path of settler to know if it is what you would like to play as. Remember, paths are a layered content on top of your character. It is um, different from your class. It opens up unique and interesting quests and missions that are separate completely from your class. Um, they do have abilities associated with them when you get them leveled up high enough. There's just lots of fun things about paths that make paths special. So, let's get to it, shall we? So here we are, just to let you know, I'm in Celestian. I haven't done really anything in this area yet. As you can see here, I just came from the starter area. But we're going to open up our character panel, and we're going to look at paths. We're going to see what it's all about. So when you open up your path menu, you're going to see here under the codex, your path is your second tab. And you can scroll through here and you can see everything you can learn about what you need to know for each level of your path. So for example, at level one, you earn or my current rank, what I'm viewing, and the awards that are achieved by getting them. As you can see, I'm level three, so I've already finished level one. You go up and you can see here I earned a title at level two. A tool belt, which is a bag, six slot bag at level three, so on and so forth. At four, we get a campfire. Well, I'm not four yet, so it's red. It clearly tells me I need another 140 experience to be able to use this, or to earn the campfire, which would be my first ability. And abilities, go in this slot here, your zero key by default. Um, as you can see here in this panel, you can also see the available missions for the zone. It can currently shows you that I have done 0% of my path missions for Celestian. And it gives you a little breakdown. It tells you missions completed, zero of four. So it's telling me there's four available. Currently, missions to discover, there's 11. So I know basically there's a 15 path missions in this zone to achieve by just reading your zone details. And then you have the availables. Now, as you walk around the zone, explore different parts of the map, you will automatically pick up more as you get close to those areas. So it's kind of a good idea to, to understand how many you still have to go. Howdy, welcome to the show. And then down here, your available missions are listed. And as you can see, these four correspond to the four here. And we'll get to this panel here in just a sec. But I wanted you to understand where you go to get the, the core of your information about your path. And the path of Settler is all about building different things or helping out in society and so let's look at those and also here you can see that zone completion tells me that I'm gonna get a bag full of materials a salvageable container that cl to claim a reward path once you complete all 15 items in this zone and so uh, let's take a look at the first one so right here it's telling about an expansion type mission and the key word here is in expansion, project, cache, and civil service. Now there's a number of different style of, of missions that you can do for each path um, and I have a guide for that up on wildstarfans.net but these are the four that we've learned so far and so like here expansion it says improve the state of Woodhaven which is the town we're in a key settlement in Celestia and the surroundings so they want us to build stuff in this area and you do this by collecting resources Settlers does not affect housing at all, no. Paths and housing are completely separate. 
other than you might have an ability that can take you to your house. I don't believe um, every path earns fab kits that can be built on your house, but the path isn't a direct affiliation. You can summon a vendor bot is your second ability. And your third ability is Payoff report complete. home, which is an ability to open a portal to return to your house. So that's the only connection with housing directly is your third ability lets you open up a portal and lets everybody go to the house from your current location. So it gives you a benefit for that, um, but it's not directly tied to that. Anyway, second project says is turn in orn focus stones to the builders. So we have to go out and find these stones, collect them, bring them back to be able to do this project. And what it does is it constructs a pavilion. Now all settler path ability or tasks are joint. So the more settlers participating in them, the quicker things will happen for some of the effects. Or you can change the length of time associated with what was built. And I'll get to that in just a sec. And then so here's one that's kind of sounds like it's a um, explorer type thing, but it's not really. It says find some resources. We have to go out and find some settler resources, and then we can do that. And then civil aid the effects of the Woodhavens by stopping the Dominion. So we have a quest here to help with that. So these are the four types we're going to work on today. I'm not going to go much farther um, out to find different types today because we're going to keep this short and sweet let you see the benefits and how things work with just the four we got. So let's go down here and take a look. Oh, I forgot the panel. Available missions. So down here, this opens up your thing and it, it links directly to which one you were on. You can also click on this and it's going to tell you which direction to go. Or you can click on this one and it can tell you, it tells you what you need to do. So it's telling me I have no power crystals and I have no carbon rods in my inventory um, but these are the avenues to affect improvement and it wants me to do this with a, get a score of 92 and available is 27 economy 35 security and 30 quality of life we've done none of that yet because we haven't gathered any resources this one here it wants me to go do one of these many tasks to help with society. Once again, it's going to take resources. This one here says turn on an orange stone. We got to go find it. And then the last one here is find the oops, add on there. Is find the cache, which means we kind of got to look for it. doesn't want to hopefully I can reset that so let's go down here and so as you can see here these pavilions and you can tell by the settler icon actually you can't see it from here I'm going to go up on the hill so you can see it the settler icon is up in the sky telling you another settler has placed stuff So let's go down here and see what the other settlers have placed. So we've got a basic shield capacity is the only one left. And so what, as a settler, you would come down here and you'd click on this and it would say, okay, what do you want to build? So this is going towards the expansion mission and it's saying, what do you want to build? Okay, there's a shield capacity already up. There's a health booster, experience booster. And each one goes towards affecting the quality of life here in town. And you can click on it and see what resources are needed. I don't have any resources on me, so we have to collect some. Let me reset my UI real quick. Oops. Interface. Oops. Come on. Add ons. Reload UI. There we go. That fixed that. So, as you can see here, there's resources all over the place. We have to.
fix the barricade. Pick up stuff. So pretty much anywhere where you see the settler icon, you're just going to run around and interact with it. And basically, we're helping in town by fixing things. But you also got settler resources out here like this that we have to collect to spend the currency. And those go into your bag. So now we have a pulsating crystal. It says we collected four of them. So now we're working our way towards to be able to interact with those things, complete these missions by having the currency, because settlers use this um, settler resources as a currency to purchase those things. Yes, the Hearthstone, once we um, have a house, you'll get a little spot right here that lets you port to your house and or wherever you're bound. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to just run around out here and collect some resources. Since I did not do that in advance, together, we're just going to run around and see if we can find some resources. And one thing to note about your maps. So if we're here on the map, as you can see here, these orange, these are um, path missions. So for this character, they're settlers. So all of these are going towards the civil service. Here it's telling you there's a wood cache over here. There's the Project Woodhaven Pavilion is here. And then I got my expansion and civil service up here. Anything that's in yellow is actually a regular quest. So you can quickly tell by looking at the map, is it a path mission? Is it a quest? So on and so forth. And you can also see here that I have more quest icons. I could go pick up quests and do those. So, um, um, the settler buffs are very good to get, actually. Um, here, I'll show you. So, as you can see here, I have the this is a settler buff. This one here is giving me crit severity for 58 minutes. This one here is going to give me, for 20 minutes, it's going to increase my shield capacity by 15% so I can take more damage. I think the settler buffs are some of the most um, group friendly things that you can do. So if you like supporting your people, your groups, and all that, putting up settler buffs is definitely the way to go. But we need to find some more settler resources. So let's go look around and see if we can find some. There's some. Oh, that's actually a quest. Oh, there we go. It depends upon your play style. The nice thing about the settler is the fact that it's you can just kind of run around and do stuff. What am 
my stew? Oh, I'm supposed to be killing things, and I'm not. Oh, we found some lore. These trees display a measurable proto-sentience. Almost an awareness of the energetic fields of primal life inherent to the forest. If another plant or organism... So now that we've collected some resources, let's go turn it in so you can see that interface with there. I think I have enough to actually increase the time on stuff. I don't necessarily care about this right now. So now that we have resources, when we come up here to this thing... It's going to give us options and it's going to see, oh, I still don't have enough to build this one. I still don't have enough to build this one. And for this one, so I still don't have enough. So um, what would happen if we had enough uh, resources, we could increase the time for this because normally they default to like 15 minutes. Um, some of them are more, some are less. It just depends. But every settler that comes in play can increase this and keep this up cons constantly. And the benefit of having you put yours up there or you putting your time on there, everybody time somebody uses this, you get a touch of experience for them using it. So not only is it from you building stuff, but it's from people using your stuff. So it's really a good way, good system if you keep those things up and running to build your experience while you're out questing. Um, it's a pretty nifty system. My favorite path is currently the scientist because I like to get into the lore, the meat and potatoes of things, um, but that's me. Yeah, the helper, the, the, the settler is very much a helper type person. If I can find some more. So if you look at the mini map, you can see little green triangles there. They're telling me that there's some resources for me to pick up. So I can run over here and pick these up. Makes it a little easier to find them if you pay attention to your mini map. And just in the act of normally um, questing, you're probably going to be overrun with um, resources. But since I'm just getting started, we're a little behind on things here. Ooh, we found a book. Now I owe you a favor. And so I just collected some quick lore. Now we're coming in here. We're praying at the shrine, trying to clean things up. And we fixed the tree. Not actually a settler mission, but it was here, so we did it real quick. Challenge failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seem to be having a video glitch. Normally you would not see that transition like that. So, now that we did the tree real quick, let's see if we can find some more settler resources because I really want to purchase something for you. Um, you really don't need an add-on to make your resources more visible. Like I said, it, you'll see green dot, the green triangles on your mini-map. And they have little flags on them. Okay. 
see if I can find another one for you to show you. Ah, so here, right here, if you can see it right there, you can see the green dot. So I know to keep going this way to pick up another thing. Now, and you also see the little green flag sitting here saying, hey, come pick me up. So we've got resources. And you can look in your bags and you can see that I have 21 power crystals. I have four carbon rods. I usually like to move these down so they're out of the way for my junk. So we can go find some more. Oh, there's some right there. See some Spiro vine. All right, so more questions. Let's see here. Paths don't necessarily affect classes. So if you want to be a tank healer, that's fine. None of the paths are going to benefit or hinder you from doing that. So it really comes down to personal preference of what you like to do. Let's go see if I have enough resources now to affect this. Because it looks like all the stations are down. So, I now have enough to do an experience booster. It says I've got, I need eight and four. So I'm gonna hit build. And now it's gonna build me an experience buff right here that everybody's gonna get to use. Go. Where do, oh, there it is. Took a while. Okay. So here it is. Now when I click on this, I get an experience buff. For nine minutes, I'm going to get a 10% buff. Now if I click on this again and I click on this, it's going to say, do you want to add more time? It says it's a settler tier one and I can add 10 minutes to it or I can just leave it sit. If I want to spend more points into it, I'll give it to where it stays up for 10 extra minutes. So if we click on that, doesn't tell me how long. I thought it told me how much longer it was going to be up. So basically it's going to be up for 20 minutes now instead of just 10 because we built it. Now another settler can come behind me, click on that and add another 10 minutes and another 10 minutes and basically perpetually keep this up. And you just want to run back to town every 10 minutes and click on it if you want to keep generating that extra experience bonus on top of everything else. And if you go into your path log here, you can see we're at 130 experience. We're going to get experience for people clicking on that thing and actually completing these missions. So we're 24 to 92 points of completing this one. So I need to collect a whole lot more resources and build more things to complete that mission. Is everybody with me so far? Um, I wouldn't necessarily worry about being in a zone too long because you're going to continue to get experience in it regardless. Um, you can probably do about 70% of the quests in the zone and you'll basically technically be leveled to the point where you can enter the next zone. Is there labels on the zones to tell you what's the level ranges? No, there is an add-on for that probably will be coming out. Um, I also have a chart for that that I'll put out eventually when I can talk about more than level 1 through 15 that covers all the zones and the progressions um, but I wouldn't worry about that play the way you want and you're gonna be fine um, 
Um, there is plans to put the settler resources in its own bag space, yes. Um, they've been working on that for a little while. It's not a huge high priority, but that is in the works. Because as you can see right now, in my bags, they're taking up room. That will not be the case eventually. I believe they are going to put them in something similar to the supply satchel, but it'll be for the settlers. It may be something you have to earn. Um, you may not have it a bit to begin with, but I, I know that's something they've been talking about and working towards. So we'll just see how that plays out. Resources. We lack the no resources. Let's see here. If you die, you do lose the buffs, yes. Okay, NDA is probably going to be adjusted soon, and I say soon loosely. Um, I suspect sometime this month they're going to raise the level of the NDA. How far they're going to raise it is a very good question. Right now we're still only at 15, um, but I believe we will be going up a little bit higher in the very near future. Obviously that's just speculation. Nothing's been officially announced. Walloped all of them. Look at that. Mm. Um, there's that potential also, Minifest, but uh, we're not really exactly sure how the NDA is going to be adjusted. There's just been talk and rumors that it will be adjusted in some form or fashion. I'm suspecting that after our next big patch, we're going to learn more about that. find some more resources so we can build something here so keep those questions coming this is good dialogue all right we caught her captured a critter all right let's see here oh there's another critter to catch Catch us a critter. Stop moving, buddy. There we go. Let's see here. Sure. 
Sure, let's talk about the Settler unlocks here. We can do that, definitely, definitely. Let's climb this mountain. Why? Because it's so pretty up here. It's actually kind of awesome. Let's check that out. Now that's a screenshot. I'm going to Twitter that out here in a little bit. All right, so the question was, what's the Settler unlocks? We can do that. So the first ability you're going to get is the Settler Fire, which basically puts down a campfire that people can click on, and it gives a, re a regen buff that basically helps them adventure quick, longer with less slowdowns, per se. So it's another buff like you would put in a town, but you have it with you. After that, you're going to have Festival Tier Kit. And what a Festival Tier Kit does is it allows you to build on your property at your house. And it, it has party favors. You're going to have free buff food, free buff drinks, stuff like that on it. It's a pretty cool little thing. And it's an upgradable. As you go higher, you can get Festival Tier 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, anyway. Um, after that, you're going to get a Summon Vendor Bot, which is going to allow you to summon a vendor every... Um, 10 minutes that allows you to clean out the junk in your inventory. Your bags are full, you want to be able to just keep charging on, you summon a vendor bot, you empty your bags, you keep on going, junk's clear, gone, good, you're whatever. Then you get a title. You can be a pioneer. And then at level 7 you're going to get a builder's crate which gives you a free 8-slot um, bag, and so on and so forth. Then you get some firewood for your house. This is kind of your housing decoration piece that's unique to a settler. Um, then you get up to 10, you get an upgrade for that festival tier. You get to make it a, a festival tier two now, which means you're gonna get higher buff foods. And you're gonna get your report home ability. And that corresponds to with the fact that you're probably gonna be level 10 or 14 by then, and you'll actually have a home. So. There you go. Um, and then the, the abilities and the rewards just repeat um, at higher tiers from then on. Is the world pretty big? Well, let's see here. Since I've been on the show, I've only showed you this. This is one zone. Walking across this zone in real time would probably take you about 10, 15 minutes without a amount and then as you can see here this is one continent and there's four continents currently available this is the other one that is currently available in the beta right now so yes world is pretty big they've already covered the subscription things for you let's see here uh, there is no loading zone or loading screens between continents if you can walk between them. If you have to fly, then that's your loading zone is going between them. But everything is open world. So if I walk from this zone to Thade, there is no loading zone. I can walk from here all the way to here and never get a single loading zone. Too close. What do I got to do with these guys? Reclaiming quest. Save you. There we got it. One more, and I can release really these. Right on. 
Let's go up here and take a look at our level ups. We got costumes. We now have access to costumes. We got an attribute and an amp increase. So let's take a look at our bags. I thought I just got something. There's a settler resource. Like, ooh, I got a new bag. I got a four slot bag. So we can replace that one. All right. Ooh, settler resources. Collect. I must collect my resources. Oh, we want to go up to our amps here. Put a point in critical severity now. Use that. And questions, questions. Do we have any questions? Hmm. I think this game's gonna get much more popular than it is now because you've seen such a small piece of the game. There's so much more to it than what we've been able to show you. Let's see here. Why should you use the settler instead of the other paths? Well, that's a really good question and that's a question you're gonna have to answer for yourself. For me, I would be a settler if I have a large group of friends that I like to play with. And I like to help the community by keeping these buffs running, opening up unique stations. Keep in mind, the settler is the only one that can build a bank where there isn't a bank. Um, that can build a hospital where there isn't a hospital. These are the people that are going to be out in the world collecting resources, and then all of a sudden you're going to find one of these little things on the ground in the middle of the wilderness and pop something up. It may be a, a caravan pavilion that only is the only place you can buy certain things like upgraded gears so while most of the zone is just selling you green items all of a sudden you all, all you settlers build this pavilion you go in there and for a limited amount of time you can interact with this vendor and buy unique stuff buy unique recipes um, you could build a defense station to help you fight so you find one of these that actually puts up soldiers and you can start dragging mobs and they'll help you kill if that's what you're into, the settler is the person for you. If you want to have that unique ability to all of a sudden change the dynamic of the area, that's what a settler does. Explorer, yeah, they find secret paths, they open up caves, they find unique things, they have jumping puzzles. Soldiers, they just like to smash everybody's face, and there's lots of missions that are surrounded against fighting. And then you have your scientist that's got your scan bot, that you're learning about things, you're getting buffs while you do it. So if you scan something, you may be able to get a buff from your scientist bot. So it just really comes down to what do you want to do? And that's why this extra layer on top of what Wildstar has done for you is so unique because Time most games, you get your class, and that's it. What do you got after that, you know? I mean, really. Let's see here. So... What do we got to work on here? Oh, I need to catch one more critter and then release them. So let's go do that. I think I caught up on questions. All right, so we caught them. Now we need to go this direction and release them.
Releasing the critters. All right, now we got a communication Did call. Turn that quest on. All right, we get an upgraded shield. Look at that. Now here, if you've never seen um, about the things, you got every quest turn in gives you a choice. Well, as you can see here, this one has finesse, grit, or brutality. So we need to open up our panel here and go, okay, well, brutality affects strike through crit rating. So if I want more than that, I would want to take the brutality one. And you want to look at the fact that I'm at 21. That would take me to 27. I'm not going to hit the milestone. Not a great choice, but it is a choice. If I want finesse, it's crit chance rating and crit severity rating, which was the first one, right? Brings me up to 50. That takes me right there to get a milestone. So that is the best choice for me right now because I'm going to get this milestone that's going to give me 50 more crit severity just by picking it. I could also take the grit one, which gives me 6, which brings me up to 61 if I wanted more base health. So I thought I was getting hurt too much. But since I'm going DPS, finesse is the way I want to go. We'll take that. And we'll equip that. We open up our panel back up. And you can see we hit that milestone and the next milestone's at 75. So, there we go. We just improved our character. Let's see here. Okay. Um, I have a path, I have a guide. Let's see here. If you go over there to wildstarfans.net, I have a guide on paths, and that path guide will list every single ability and what level you get that ability um, for all the paths. So head over there, check that out when the show's over. And that will really help you decide between the paths. Like to, I said, today is about the settler. So if you have settler questions, keep them coming. Because um, that's what we're focusing on today. And some more. Oop, settler resources. Almost missed it. Over here in the green. Let's pick that up. Gotta keep an eye out for them resources because we want to build, build, build. back this way to do some more this find some more loose dirt oh more resources yay now I'll get back to some more questions here all righty So there's a question here. Have I seen one of the huge buildings that built of the bigger outpost? I was just covering that earlier. The big outposts that are happening as one of your available missions that settlers get together to do. What they what those are is when you put enough resources into them, it gives you special vendors, special access to different things, and yes. So it just depends on what it is. Sometimes it's just for looks. 
Other times it opens up missions, more missions, um, or it gives you those vendors. Like sometimes those big things are going to be a new taxi location, or it's going to be a bank, that type of thing. That's what those big buildings usually are for. Um, every ex path gives it its own experience. So you can see here, um, this is your experience bar for paths. Right now I've got 130 of 270. This is completely separate from your path or your character experience, which is down here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down here. My character experience right now is for my level. I'm 27% into my level. And by the way, this is an add-on that is I'm using here. This is not default experience bar. Let's see here. Let's keep moving. I know it can be boring to just sit here and watch me stand in one place, so I need to move and talk. Oh, that's the one we already went into. Let's find a dirt pile. Smoky and dirty. You know what? Let's kill him. He's just in our way. I'm not really sure about on the PvP servers. Uh, we have not tested PvP servers yet, so that's a question that's just going to have to wait. In theory, yes, they would be able to destroy them. Uh, pretty much anything of the opposite faction is red, and you can attack it, um, but not sure about the PvP server rule sets yet. <clears throat> yes, I am an Esper. Us out here unlocking dirt. Right. Oh, but I found some more resources. That's good. Resource me. All right. Resources do take up inventory space at the moment, yes. But that does seem to plan to change in the future. I am actually at full graphic settings right now, by the way. If you would like to see that. My video settings are max. I am high, high, high on everything. This is the highest setting for graphics. Some zones have more detail than others, but currently running at about 30 frames a second but this includes me streaming and talking to you and doing everything else so can I build anything else ooh we can shield capacity or maximum health or back to the experience booster let's build that one again and let's build the shield booster So now we're at 58 of 92. We just need to build a couple more and we'll have finished this mission here in town. 
And there it is. Get our shield capacity booster for 20 minutes. And our experience gains. And there we go. And we're back to hunting again. Scientists can get buffs um, very similar to the momentum buffs when you're killing stuff by scanning creatures. So um, sometimes you'll scan something and they'll drop a little item that you can pick up and gives you a temporary buff that's based on the lore of that creature. So if they have thick skin, you might pick up a buff that gives you extra armor for five minutes um, with your scientist bots, for example. Let's see here. Resources. Collecting more resources. This is one of the things that's very important about the settler. So if you're an obsessive compulsive that likes to pick up everything, whether it's harvesting or not, a settler's a good path because you're always being going to be looking at the ground going, ooh, what can I pick up next? way we can go this direction. Oh, more resources. Good, good. Let's see here. Every class only has a single weapon, so yes, the class you choose dictates the weapon you use. rescue to happen over here. Going in the tree. By the way, this video is a video glitch right here. Um, normally, like I said, when you walk in this tree, it's very clear and seamless. Um, but right now, for some reason, you're getting this what looks like a white wall before you walk through it. That's normally not there. So please don't take that as that's the way it normally Thank is. You, dear friend. That is a glitch, and it has been reported. So. Keep that in mind. Let's see here. Let me catch up on a question or two here. Um, there's still some optimization going on, so I wouldn't worry about can your PC handle it just yet. That's not really a good question. Um, if you head over to my um, Twitch, my personal Twitch, it has my computer specs listed and I'm running a full graphic so you can kind of get a, a comparison. Um, keeping in mind that I have IRC up, I have XSplit up, I have two web pages, I have the game and I'm streaming and I'm still sitting right here at 60 frames a second standing here. Um, so, you know, max graphics, everything. My computer is fairly good but I don't think you need to overly worry about it just yet. I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised at how small of a system you can have and still look really good in the game because of the way the artwork went. Ooh, add an add on it. So, um, let me go over here. I think I missed some questions.
Actually, no, the highest setting is not medium anymore. That was fixed in a recent patch. So high is actually high. Mm As far as the raid question, even if I knew that's above the level 15 content and I really can't talk about it right now, there will be more on raids in the very near future. Let's see here. But believe me, in what I've seen, there's going to be plenty. You're going to have 20 man raids, you're going to have 40 man raids. You're going to have a plethora of dungeons, you're going to have a bunch of adventures, you're going to have a ton of ship hands. There is going to be plenty of things for you to do. Oh, another fallen tree. Some more resources. Yes, we lack the resources. Um, I think I'm done with that. Oh, there we go. Now I'm done with that. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Nice. I owe I'm you done one. With that. All right. Another tree to go into. Get our first implant. Yes. Grit, finesse, or moxie. Let's open this up. Ooh, if I take the moxie one. Oop, that's 75. We're not going to get there. The moxie is still our main assault power, so I'm still going to take it. You've done well, but I've got more stuff for you to do. So let's equip that. More resources. Ooh, we found another bag. Or slaughter. There we go. An extra bag slot. And oh, we found a plushie. We got a Dagoon plushie. So what a plushie is, is for a house. So um, we now have an item to put in our house for decoration when we get it. So let's see here. Raids are not easy. I can attest to that fact. Raids are tough. Um, as far as streaming, I have the um, video capture card, um, whatever that name is. The wow, I'm I'm losing my mind here. The Avermedia HD game capture card, I'm using that as part of my stream setup um, with XSplit, and that's it. I do not edit my videos, so when this gets up on YouTube, you're going to get this, what you're seeing. I don't spice it up or change it for you. You get the exactly what was done. So let's... Get a few more questions in before I have to go through the day. The Sunday is family day, but I like to uh, share with you what I can and what I can.
stomachs all tied up in knots. Thank you so much. We found a plushie. So this is exactly what a plushie looks like. Um, it's just a stuffed animal you put in your house. See here, so we finished the restoring the balance. We saved the three trees. We're the queen's hero. Yay! So, here. Mm. Here's your plushie, my dear. Could, even the trees would be crying. You got Goodbye. your little plushie. You can go now. I have saved you. All right. We got to go this way. Pick up some more resources. Notice the mini map once again. We got some resources to pick up. A settler's job is never done with resources. And notice, if you just notice, killing things also gives you settler resources. Not all of them, mind you, but you don't always have to just pick them up. Sometimes you just need to kill something. So there, um, if we look at my old combat log, I got structure carbon from killing that guy. Oops. See here. Yep, I got structural carbon for killing that guy. So I didn't have to just find it on the ground. I can now pick it up too. What do you mean I can't stand in fire? I've got the power. I can stand in fire. Let's dance, baby. Double kill. You are gone. The green little boxes? was the uh, settler resource. Ooh, you're trying to attack me? What's wrong with you? Triple kill. There we go. Oh, I missed my resource. Where was it at? Is that this rock? Hmm. I don't see it. Okay. Ooh, what do we got up here? We got Billy Bad Boys. Man, they're just making a, a smoke pit of this place. Let's take a look at this. That's just like... Isn't that cool? Let's print that screen. There's our resource. Alrighty, alrighty. So what do I need to do here? I need to figure out what I need to do here. Call of Greenboro to straw the Firestorm flagons. Huh. Okay. 
Come here, buddy. Let's call a friend. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Smack it down. That's what I'm talking about. Give it the smack down. Gotta destroy this one over here. Call up another one. Give it a smackdown. Oh, knocked me backwards. Environmental terrorism, and I felt the flack. Down again. Oops. So now we have a choice. Look at this one. This is the first quest I've came across in quite a while where you actually get to choose an amp of how you want to play your character. So I can open up an amp that lets me help um, when I'm rooted, snared, or affected. Quick response, landing a critical hit with a finisher grants a hand chance to reduce cooldowns by 45%. I like that. So now what you do is you open this up and to learn an amp, you just right click it. We open up our ability panel. We go to amps. And we now look and see here this quick response, which used to be locked, is now unlocked. Most of these single amps are either purchased or found amps. Unlike the chains where you just unlock by start working your way up, the singles you have to find or earn. So, there we go. Ooh, look at all the settler resources all over the place. Oh, he's stealing my resource. That's okay. That's all right, buddy. That's all right. Let's see here. Any questions for me? Let's keep it civil on the forums. Everybody's entitled to their opinions. I happen to think the graphics in this game are phenomenal for what they were designed for. They weren't designed to be real world. You want a real world looking game, this is not yours. If you like this graphical art style, then it is yours. I happen to like this graphical art style. This is a really cool quest, so we'll go do this now.
Now we're flying high, putting out fires. Let's scroll back a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see what we're doing here. We're trying to put out fires. But we also have to keep our uh, health up. Finished her. And we're coming in for a landing. There we go. Let's hear it. Isn't that cool? Alright, well, now we got some new new some new gloves. See you next time. The queen would wish to convey her thanks. So thanks. So there we have it. So let's see here. Settlers building stay in the world for a varied amount of time. Sometimes it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. It just depends on what you build and how many other settlers add time to it. So, there we go. So let's head back to town. Build a couple more settler resources. Let's see here, where's this one? Where's this one trying to take me? Oh, it's just trying to take me right there. So let's just do that real quick. Then we'll head back to town. See more resources up here. Must collect the resources. All right. Oh, that way. Oh, but I see some plants. Overground, I gotcha. going for a walk. Come on, buddy. So, while we're walking, My specs are up over on that page. We're going for a ride. Giddy up, little doggy. Mission unlocked. All right, we now got a new mission called. S we can look here and we can go Death of the Forest. So we open this up, visit the bounty board, and then take out Grivich the Gruesome. 
So now, we are now... Oops. We are now, we just walked on the back of this guy from there all the way down to here. And we're in Woodhaven. So let's check out what settler type things we got here in Woodhaven. Oh, see, there's our settler icons telling us where we need to go. Go ahead. Okay. Welcome to Woodhaven. Settler, I need you to bring up speed on the thing. I think you got this one. Why, certainly. You've got some nerve keeping me waiting. She'll be waiting for you. So this is a different type of mission where you're going to pick up resources. You're going to take them somewhere. Gonna build stuff? Alright, this one's got a travel speed booster, which is this running guy. Path skills guide. This guy do. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Settler's Campfire. So here's a Settler's Campfire. And it gives us a buff that gives us gain health for an hour. There we go. So there, now you know what a Settler's Campfire does for you. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this thing over my head. Oops. And I messed up the UI. Okay, so, I think I've exceeded the power hour that I was allotted. Let's see what we got going here. Hi, hi. Sell off the junk. I can't salvage yet, so we'll get rid of that. Spiral vine seed. Don't need the bags. And let's see here. Two. Talk to this person. I've been expecting to hear from you. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. To build, to build our Swift Cloud, to build Woodhaven Project. Okay, well, let's see where she's at. Ah, over here. There it is. Okay, so here's one of those big buildings we were talking about where you got to bring the resources to build the building. Cool, they got one active. Resource added. So now, one of five, if I bring four more of these, this pavilion will get built. Yes, copper to platinum. So now she's delivering a piece also. Find resources around town. Oh no, that's planting seeds. And here's another block. So this will be the last thing I'm going to do today, folks, is I'm going to try and get this pavilion over here built so you can see how the interaction of multiple um, settlers putting your resources towards something works and what it gives you. I'm not sure exactly what this one will be, but we're going to build it anyway. Resource added. So now, oh, I guess I have to do five of these. I thought it was a community project, but I guess we all build it separately. 
Interesting. That's okay. This won't take long. Are you ready for what's next? Hmm, I need another stone. But I'm competing with this other settler. There we go, there's another one. I have played, I only played Dark Age of Camelot for about four and a half years. So yeah, I've played Dark Age of Camelot for those of you asking, if you were asking me the question. Resource added. So I need to find two more stones. Like all the buffs that were just up are now down. Oh, we finally get to bind. So here's where you're going to get the bind spot. So this is a transmission portal. So now we get another recall button here. So now if I hit this recall button, it's going to port me here. Somebody was asking about that earlier, and that's where you do it. Okie dokie. Two more of these stones and we will be done for the day. Go ahead and close that down. It's not doing me any good anyway. Resource added. One more and it's built, folks. One more. And say I thought there was a stone in here. Let's see here. Let's get this built. Then I'll finish up with your questions. Mission and let's see what happens. Project Wooden Pavilion. Build, I say, build. Tell me you're not done. What's up with that? Okay, I guess it doesn't build anything. That's interesting. Sometimes these turn into something. All right, now I feel silly. All right, let's check out some questions. Uh, let's see here. Um, as I previously stated right now, scientist is my preferred path because, you know, I like my achievements, I like my lore, I like all the story, and this this game has phenomenal story. Um, I have a guide up on stories, so you can go, go check that out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 
Oh, nasty. You came to see me. That's so sweet. I thought you hated me. So, now it's time to go spend time with my 13-year-old. We're going to go play some offline games. Have good family time and so on and so forth. So I appreciate y'all coming out. I really like the questions. I hope that you get out of it as much as I'm giving. And we'll see you in the very near future because you know what? You all are just great. Oops. Why did I turn around? So let's do this in synchronicity. Goodbye. We'll see you later. Take care and I appreciate it.